Hi everyone, how are you doing? I am super excited. Um, another one of my seasonal subscriptions just arrived at my doorstep today. This is the Box of Style, and this is by Rachel Zoe. So like I said, this is a seasonal subscription. It is pretty pricey. Um, it's $99 four times a year, so it's seasonal. It's similar to FanFitFun, just more expensive, and you're supposed to get over $400 worth of products. I feel like I have a hair in my face. Sorry if I do, <laughs> or if I'm like picking at that, but um, anyways, I'm super excited. The box seems smaller right now uh, than it has in the past. But anyways, like I said, it's $99. I think there is some kind of code out there that you can save $15 or $20 on your first subscription. So if I can find that, I will definitely leave it down in the description box along with the link to the website. I have really enjoyed these in the past. Like I said, it is expensive. So um, I did see some sneak peeks of what is coming in this box. So I want to see it all in person and see like, is it really... Um, worth it to me because like I said it's supposed to be four hundred dollars so we're gonna add up the value at the end of this and see uh, but before we get unboxing just want to remind you I have my giveaway going on until the 20th for the new ABH Riviera palette so I will leave a link to that in the I and down below if you have not yet entered but let's get unboxing so super excited and sorry if I'm like low energy today you guys I went to the Everglades yesterday and I ended up staying overnight and just I'm just a little tired and hungover today, but I'm starting to wake up. I'm going to a play tonight. I'm seeing Fiddler in the Roof. I've never seen that. Like, I feel like I've, it's very well known, right? Like, I've heard of it, but I've never seen it before, so I'm excited. But anyways, when you open it, it says, Hello, gorgeous. I love these boxes. They're like the magnetic closure, so super convenient. You could save this to use, like, for something else if you want to. Like, the box definitely, like, is high quality. But yeah, anyways, I think I love... Uh, I love how it says hello gorgeous inside. And then there is a card. So this is what the spring looks like. The back is the same picture actually. And then all the items are wrapped up underneath in some white tissue. So I'm gonna see if there's any like intro or anything in here. Um, yep, there's a note from Rachel. I thought there would be. And that's Rachel Zoe if you guys did not know. She's like a fashion stylist and I love her style. So I, that's like what drew me to this box to begin with. It says, spring is my favorite time for a style refresh. A few breezy essentials make it so simple to elevate everything from blazers and boots to feminine dresses to jeans and a t-shirt. So incorporate a little glamor into your look this season. I promise it's never been easier. And then it's has all the products and there's like some styling tips. So like I said, we'll keep this to the side so we can reference that as we unbox. Underneath the wrapping, this is what I see. So I'm just gonna start with what is on top. And this looks like it is something by Tribe Alive. I believe we've gotten something from them in the past. Like they're, um, I think they make bags. So let's see, I think this is a clutch if I remember correctly from the spoilers. It was so long ago when I got an email with the spoilers. Like I try not to look at that stuff, but sometimes it's hard. And this box does include one customization. I'll tell you that when we get to the item. So you got to like choose um, between two things. It's generally, in my experience, I've gotten this box probably for over a year. You usually can pick one of the items. So inside that drawstring bag is this black clutch. It's smaller than I thought it would be when I was looking at the pictures online, but I actually like this. Maybe I'll use it tonight because, like I said, I'm going to a play. I'm going to be wearing like a longer dress, and I'm, this would be cute with it actually. So there's two little like buttons right here that latch. Then inside, it looks like there's some packaging, so let me take that out. And then it's just an empty like little clutch. There's no pockets or anything like that. And it says Tribe Alive right here. So yeah, this is just like a basic clutch. I believe this company is like very ethical and like, let's read about it. Cause I know there's something good about this. Maybe they like donate something, I can't remember. All right, I found it. It says, the feel good fashion. A sleek black leather pouch is ideal for stashing, stashing essentials. I keep mine inside my work bag and then it is there um, for a clutch for appointments, lunches, or a meeting. So that's a quote by Rachel. It says, this is the Tribe Alive leather clutch exclusive. It's the retail value of $78, wow. See, I wouldn't go out and purchase this for $78 myself, but I don't mind getting it in the 
in this box because I don't have a black clutch right now or really many clutches at all. I have a lot of bags. My bag collection is growing. So there's a style tip in here. It says keep your essentials at your fingertip in this clutch so they don't get lost in the bottom of your bag. This sleek piece was handmade by artisans in India with ethically sourced leather. How is it ethically sourced? I'm not like a fan of leather products to be honest, but if I get them in a subscription or something, I will use it. Um, but okay. The next thing I see is by Michelle Campbell. So I'm guessing this is jewelry. It looks like a jewelry bag. Yep, okay, so these are two bracelets. Let me take it out of the plastic so you can see it better. These are like delicate little bracelets. They're gold with some gems on it. Okay, so one of them has gems on it. So here is the first one. This is really pretty. If you can see the gems there. So let's see if this fits okay. Yeah, I like this. So there it is. I need to take that charm off, but then I'm afraid I'll have bad luck. <laughs> and there is a second bracelet that is like simple gold. So they're meant to be worn together, I believe, but you can always just wear one at a time as well. All right, so ignore the charm, <laughs> that like piece of green string, but here are the bracelets. So you could either wear them either way. I think I like seeing the gems on top. Let's read about these. Okay, this says the stackable statements. Dainty gold bangles can be worn solo as a, or as a pair for an easy daytime look. For evening, layer them with other pieces for a luxe take. I always mix metals for extra drama. And then, oh my gosh. These are a retail value of $215. It's a Michelle Campbell Gold Talon Bracelet Set Exclusive. Retail value $215. That is so expensive. What? So I guess it's like real gold. I don't know what these gems are. Um, it says, for a styling tip, wear together or on separate wrists to add polish to your everyday ensembles. Pair with other metals or colorful bracelets for a fashion forward look. That's crazy that's $215. I think these are so cute. Like maybe like eighty dollars or something like that. I would was thinking it would say two hundred fifteen dollars. Like I love these. I, don't get me wrong, but I would not pay two hundred fifteen dollars myself. But happy to have it since I did not pay that much. Mm -hmm. All right, the next thing I see. This is what I'm excited about because I need this. This is by Edible Beauty Australia. This is the Gold Rush Eye Balm. This packaging is super cute. Let's take it out. Purely edible. Even if it is, I wouldn't try and eat my eye cream. All right, so here is the actual packaging. So it's just like black and simple. Uh, oh wow, there's like gold flecks in it. Like, what is that supposed to do? Do you guys see that? So yeah, it's not full all the way to the brim. There's like a little divot there, but so there's some... I don't think there's a scent, which is good. You don't really need a scent with or fragrance in your eye cream because it's such a sensitive area. But it says the gold standard. And Rachel says, I can never have too many eye creams and this is a new favorite. I apply morning and night. I love the decadent all natural ingredients. The gold leaf is a dream come true. So this is, um, $65. And for skincare tips, it says lightly pat onto the under eye area using your ring finger. Gold leaf improves radiance and circulation while coffee and cucumber extracts reduce puffiness and inflammation. So those gold specs must be from gold leaf, which I don't really know what that is. If you guys know what that is, please let us know in the comment section. But anyways, here is a picture of it there. So I'm really excited to use this because I really need a good eye cream. I've been using samples and they're pretty much gone. So this came like at a great time. So I'm just gonna see what it says on here. It says it's rejuvenating, radiance boosting, and hydrating, a lightweight eye balm, providing a gold rush to the eyes. This balm has been formulated to reduce eye puffiness and smoothing and rejuvenating the eye area to leave the eyes feeling brighter, radiant, and energized. 
And it says, our skincare um, is good enough to eat. No parabens, sulfates, phthalates, artificial preservatives, pro propylene glycol, petrochemicals, EDTA, aluminum. It's chemical-free, vegan. Um, but then it says not for human consumption. So don't eat your eye cream. Glad I read that. Don't eat your eye cream. Okay, moving on. Looks like there's two more items. The first thing I see is by Skin Gym. This is a rose quartz gua sha sculpting tool. I received these from someone before. It was like one that came from Amazon, so I don't know if it was like how authentic it is or what. But I honestly have never even tried this. Um, it says our um, Skin Gym Rose Quartz Gua Sha, I, I might be pronouncing that wrong, um, sculpting tool is specifically designed to enhance your natural beauty by helping your face relax and making your skin radiant. Rose Quartz is the ultimate love stone, promoting self-love in particular. It also it is also the ultimate beauty stone and fuse your face with all the properties of rose quartz and exude a feeling of unconditional love and infinite space. And then it gives some different ways to use it and it shows you like what directions to move this on your face. Let me take it out. I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not because I think I do have one but like I said, I don't know the quality of it. So this is what the stone looks like that you move on your face. Let's see what Rachel says about it. It says, one step further than the jade roller. This massage tool boosts circulation and fits into your makeup bag. I keep mine in hand for long flights and midday pick-me-ups. It works wonders. And it gives some tips. Um, regular use drains puffiness and toxins while contouring and smoothing fine lines. Use to apply your favorite serum or oil. Store in the freezer for extra refreshing kicks in the morning. Oh, that would feel nice. So this is $32. So this, that, is a more acceptable price for these <laughs> items we're getting. So I actually probably will try this out. I'm probably gonna put it in my fridge or freezer like they say and like, cause I get some puffiness, especially in my eye area. So that would be really useful. All right, I think this is the last thing and this is the customizable items. So there's two prints to choose from. It is a scarf. It feels very, oh wow. This is like, super delicate feeling so um there's like an animal print one and a floral print i clearly chose the floral print this feels like super good quality but i'm gonna hold this up here um so the edges are like have this burgundy and black color and then there's a floral print this feels seriously like so delicate oh my gosh okay let's just say this is by sean lu um, this scarf is composed of 100% silk, loomed and printed completely by hand. Silk is extremely delicate material. Small naturally occurring imperfections are part of the natural charm of this luxurious fabric. Thank you for supporting artisan made crafts. We hope you enjoy this scarf for years to come. This feels so like fancy, like it really is pure silk. Okay, let's read about it. Um, and here's Rachel wearing the other print. You can see it's kind of, hopefully you can see. It's a little bit darker animal print. Oh, and we've got some cats in the box. This box came in. Box came inside of a box. So this is the stylish staple. Rachel says, nothing provides more styling options than a print silk scarf. Printed silk, silk scarf. <laughs> Tie it around your neck, head, waist, wrist, or purse for an instant pop of color and of course glamour. Styling tip, knot at the neck to add French flair to any look or you can roll it into a headscarf or a cincher on the base of your ponytail. Oh, this will be cute, I'll probably do that. Um, wrap around your wrist or purse for a chic touch. So this is an exclusive to the box and it is $125. That is a lot, that's expensive. Here is the page for that. So you can see the pretty woman wearing um, both of the styles. So I think that is everything. Let's just do a quick recap. So we have, um, the rose quartz gua sha sculpting tool, the eye cream with gold leaf in it, this delicate uh, silk scarf, uh, the tribe clutch, and then the bracelets, which I have on, which are $215. Crazy. Okay. I have my phone here. It's like 8% battery, but I think it'll last long enough for me to calculate the total uh, value of this box. One second. Whoa, the total value of this box is $515. That's crazy. I want that I forgot to mention, if you were an annual subscriber like my mom is, you got a free Amazon Echo. My mom got her box yesterday. She always gets things a little bit sooner. She's in Chicago. Um, 
So I think it's just easier to get things shipped there and faster. But anyways, she got an Amazon Echo in with hers because she paid all at once. I pay seasonally. So I think other everyone who is an annual member got that. Um, she's actually giving it to me. So thank you, Mom. But yeah, so that $515 worth of stuff and an Amazon Echo too. For some people, that's crazy. So... I would never pay $515 for all of this. I do think I actually will use every single item, so that's a plus. Like I, this scarf, like, I think this will be really pretty this spring. Like it's kind of getting me in the spring mood. I probably will like, I don't know. I never usually wear scarves, I usually, but this isn't like a heavy one, obviously. This is totally lightweight, so I could wear it in Florida. So I think it's pretty. Um, <laughs> I don't know how I'd wear it. I'd have to look into some styling tips. But I like the idea of putting it in your hair or like in a hair wrap or something. You know, a headband. Not exactly like what I'm doing right now. But <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm excited to have this. In uh, the purse too. I'm going to see if my wallet and phone and stuff fit in this, which I think they will. Uh, I guess I could see my phone right now. Like this is how big it is. I can show you a comparison like my phone. Isn't I have the iPhone 10? Yeah, that just goes right in there. So if you just have a couple things like your your cell phone, your wallet, um, and like some lip gloss and stuff, this will be fine. So I might use this tonight. I will let you guys know how the play is if you are curious. I'm excited. Um, let me know. Have any of you guys seen Fiddler on the Roof? Am I like way out of the loop? How have I never seen it? But anyways, so today I'm doing a similar look to what I've done before. Sorry, I didn't want to do anything too crazy since I'm going to dinner and then. To a play and I'm wearing a nice dress. I don't want like super flashy eyes. Um, still not totally comfortable in there yet, but so I am using a state. Um, you can't really even see that. I put a state down first in my crease um, right here, and then I used Cabana all in my crease, the mustard yellow. I was just dying to try that again, and then I smoked out my outer corner, made it a little darker, and deepened it with this shade here, Palm. And then I just used Yacht all over my lids. So super simple look, which I really like. Um, similar to what I've done before. But anyways, just thought I'd share that with you guys. I'll probably do some more fun looks in the future. I saw Tati posted a video today and her look is very purple. I haven't used the purple shade yet, so that look is probably coming soon, so look out for that. I know I won't do it nearly as well as Tati, but um, yeah, we'll see what happens. But anyways, thank you so much for unboxing with me. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.